streaming media players allow you to connect to the internet and grab music, movies, or TV shows, but there's a new box in town that may be too good to be true. And what it does is it's, it, it pulls, uh, it scrapes the cloud and brings in um, video from different sources. Danny Williams and Clinton Moses sell the Kino box out of their Jackson restaurant. Williams says it's the next hot thing in streaming. So where are these programs coming from? They're coming from the cloud, just like the, just like the, uh, the cable is. And the only thing about a cable, you've been charged, the, the cable company charges, charges you a fee to filter the same information to your home. NFL Network, what you have to pay for. The system costs $350. They claim after that, everything is up for grabs. All them you get on here free. From international programming to premium channels and more. Let's say Major the fight's League. coming on tonight. Can I get that? Yes, ma'am, you'll be able to get the fight. Even though it's on pay-per-view? You'll be able to get it even though it's on pay-per-view. I'm floored. Hmm? I'm floored, even though it's on pay-per-view. When people yeah. with cable and satellite are having to pay for the pay-per-view to get it. Well, basically, it's being screened. It, that means that it's free. Now, what makes it legal? Because I would think pulling movies from the Internet and no one's paying for them would be illegal. Well, actually, you are paying for it. When you, when you purchase the box, then you're paying for it. You're paying for the right to use uh, the box as a filtering device. Those movies included some that are still in theaters. Surprise, this is a different kind of superhero story. Sound too good to be true? Mississippi College School of Law professor Matt Steffi says you might be right. My parents told me when something's too good to be true, it probably is. And if you tell me I can watch Deadpool without leaving the comfort of my home and paying $20 and sitting in a theater with sticky seats. That's too good to be true. Steffi says there are legal questions here. You hear this on the Super Bowl, rebroadcast, retransmission without the express written consent of the NFL is strictly forbidden. It's hard to understand how that's not a rebroadcast of a copyrighted uh, uh, piece of intellectual property to pull it out of the air just because you can. HBO Zone. Action Mac East, five star Max. This is legal. Well, according to um, a representative from Keno Box that spoke with the Attorney General, who in turn spoke with Paramount Pictures, they said it is legal. It is legal. Yes, it is. We contacted the AG's office. A spokesperson says she didn't remember that conversation offhand, but that it did fall under federal copyright rules. They're researching the rules right now. You know, we, I thought this was a lesson we learned with um, Napster. You know, my right to buy a DVD doesn't include the right to copy it and give it to you. My head was my boy. Let, let me tell you, there will be no end to the popularity of this. I will be first in line. If I can cut the cord for a $350 <laughs> fee, I'll do it yesterday, and I will pay the early termination fee. There would be dancing in the streets if we could brush off our cable and Internet yes. uh, th this way. So you're going to continue to sell this? Oh, yeah, I'll continue to sell them unless, I find, unless uh, it's, it's the FCC regulate that they're not legal to sell. Well, it's not legal for a person to stream information offline. As for the legal ramifications, we'll have to wait and see. In Jackson, Tammy Eswick, 16 WAPT News.